How to make portfolio and Behance Behance step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners. Hi there you guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how you can make your own portfolio on Behance. So you guys, Behance is a platform where you can showcase your work and build an online portfolio and uh, easily and simply. In the future, we will cover other portfolio platforms, but today we will cover the basics of how you create portfolio that showcases the designs that you created using, um, yeah, using this platform. And you guys, if first step is of course to create an account. I've I, I created my account just by simply creating, uh, I I mean just by simply clicking create an account with Google, or you can also choose your Apple account or your Facebook. And there's also one way for you to do that is to like enter your email if you don't use any of that stuff, Google, Apple, if you're using Yahoo, you can just enter your email. But yeah, basically logging in is easy as one, two, three. So once you're in, you'll see this particular dashboard over here and you can immediately explore all creators, um, all the other creators works right over here. And you can also add yours right here this is the uh, work in progress it looks like a my day tab for me if you're familiar with facebook and Instagram's implement impl implementation or meta's implementation i think it basically looks like that now if you want to um start creating a project or your portfolio you just have to um hover over this tab you don't need you don't need to click you guys just hover over this tab and you can see three options here project work in progress live stream so now we're looking forward to build a project, right? It's your portfolio. So for this project, I've decided that I become like a photographer and that I showcase all my past photo shoots with uh, this uh, certain product that I worked for. Okay, so now once you, click eight, uh, once you click project right there, you'll see this editor page. This is where you build your portfolio. So there are a couple of options that you can um, choose from over here and this will decide how you go about your project. Now you can add in an image, text, photo grid, uh, video and audio. You can embed links. Um, you can choose a pro uh, you can choose uh, products on Lightroom. Uh, also NFT, there's also a separate option for NFT prototype. And if you're working on with a 3D project, something like that. All right, so these are all the things that you can upload that you can showcase. Now, it's uh, really obvious how Behance is trying to position itself because, you know, they already included an NFT right here and a 3D option, and it makes them really ahead compared to other portfolio uh, or website creators out there. Now, let's uh, try to create a photo grid over here. So I'm going to uh, click this. All right, so once I click that, I'll have um, I'll have to choose from this two options right here. Can uh, uh, yeah. I can export or import from Lightroom, I mean. And uh, it, this is if you have your Lightroom photo saved on a cloud, right? So next is I can just upload an image, images from my computer. So I want to do that. So let's click this button right over here. And then I already made like a folder that contains all the photos that I want to upload. Now, what I want to do is to just choose the photos that are same in sizes. So I'll have to choose the ones in portrait and this too will have to stay behind. And I'm just going to choose all of this six photos right here as a part of my photo grid. There you go. Now it's creating the photo grid. It's, it's quite fast. You guys, I'm amazed. Some uh, platforms out there, it, it takes a, a lot longer time, but I'm not sure if the quality is compromised. So yeah, I don't think there's a way for us to see the quality yet because we're still editing. And now, um, once we chose the photo or, or the content of our pro uh, project, we can now define our project. And uh, those viewing your project could be fans, other artists, or potential employers. Thus, it is important to tell the viewer more about your project. So possibly describe the process or share where your inspiration came from. Now, what I like to do when I make portfolios like this is that I open my notepad and basically I just type in like texts about um, the project that I've done. Oh, sorry, this is a different one. Uh, yeah, so here it is, portfolio text. I've created one already. And these texts are basically just flowery words, a combination of words that will, yeah, not really inspire, but yeah, but, but at, at least show something to your readers that you're serious about what you do. So just like this, 
Um, take this one, for example, combining comfort and style. We took it to the next level to bring out the best of our garments, stuff like that. And as a photographer, I also um, I I am I am also responsible for like giving out ca um, captions because, you know, um, it's your concept, it's your idea. And, you know, trying to get to know the product themselves involves intimate connection with models and at the same time, the products that you're shooting, because the models and the products have i think it's a close relationship and you'll really have to get a grasp on how those relationships work so you can talk about them now uh what i want to do is to like add in text right here and i can just put him down over here so i just wanted to copy and paste all right there you go here you go i'll just copy and paste this one so that i'll I'll save time from like actually typing. There you go. So it looks like this, you guys. So there is another way to give the greed a new look. Uh, you can make it full width or you can make it like a little bit smaller from here. And you can add in photos from uh, on this collection if you want to. And you can add in text media as well on this grid. Okay. So now what else? We can now click continue. Okay, so once we click continue, we are going to um, give out the project title, project tags, tools used, and what else? How would you categorize this project? Is it like a graphic design, illustration, photography? It's photography. Interaction design, fashion as well. Um, architecture, advertising. I, I might also categorize it as an advertisement. And of course, graphic design because there are editing that is involved but we can only add in three so make sure that you choose the best ones that actually fit the project that you've done and then after that um we can now share our process it can be interesting for those of you in your portfolio to say uh, to see your process and this can be done in several ways you guys uh you can actually um uh, show screen captures or show close-ups so for this matter, you can maybe crop all of the uh, crop your photos smaller and then show like a um, show show about or talk about the process of you doing the project. Or if you have photos with you behind the scenes photos, I think that will look really cool as well. And yes, you can also change. Um, yeah, you can also change settings of the project right here. Uh, if you click this and you click this, basically, it, it, it'll it show you the same um, pop-up window where you edit the project title, give out project tags, and then tell people the tools that you used. So now let's click on continue right here. Now I'm going to give out a title, which is uh, Black Parade Photoshoot. Okay. And uh, project tags... Um, up to 10 right so basically maybe you just want to choose from this list right over here so once you're done editing all this up you can click save as draft or publish and also it's important for you guys to like choose a perfect cover photo or uh, a cover photo that best describes the project that you've done so for me it's it's going to be this one so i'm going to go ahead and click crop and then there you go. So this is the only way. I mean, this is one way for your potential clients or potential employees to see like an overview of your project. And uh, if if your cover isn't really attractive enough, people won't or isn't really good enough or isn't cropped well, people might have like tendency to look away immediately. So yes, you guys. Um, so Behance, it's a different platform from um other others out there that i've tried and experienced like for example wix and stuff like that they really do give an emphasis of what kind of project you're doing and it gives you a lot more say on how you want to be found by other people so if you're looking forward to do that behance is an amazing platform for you now yes i think that's it for this video i hope this video has been helpful so i missed anything out oh, so if i missed anything out i mean uh feel free to put them down in the comments below but that's it for this video you guys see you again in the next video peace out